everyone, I'm Asmata and welcome to Narayana Educational Institutions. Today is the most anticipated day, the day we've all been dreaming for and the day we've all been waiting for. That is the NEET UG 2024 results. At Narayana, we are delighted to see the superb performance of our students. Today, I have with me our All India Rank 1 who has scored a perfect score of 720 out of 720 and that is Sam Shreyash Joseph. So Sam, first of all, heartiest congratulations to you on your remarkable achievement. Uh, can you please describe this emotion and feeling to us that we really want to understand how are you actually feeling? Well, I, we are all delighted with the result. Um, we were quite surprised when we saw that I had been uh, awarded All India Rank 1 uh, and I'm sure a lot of kids worked hard this year and I'd like to congratulate everyone who participated in this year's NEET. So how are you planning to celebrate the success of yours? Well, tomorrow we'll be going back to Bangalore to have a small celebration and my family is also planning a few parties. Right. So when it comes to your remarkable achievement, I'm sure uh, you know you have been so successful right now by scoring All India Rank 1. So who would you like to credit this success of yours to? Well, I've been blessed with very supportive parents right from the start. They've been with me and uh, definitely this would not be possible without uh, Narayana group. I've been blessed with very dedicated teachers and my dean uh, Surindra sir, my principal Gauss sir, and the AGM, Rupa ma'am, have all been monitoring my uh, progress throughout the last two years very closely. And I am very thankful to all the teachers who have coached me throughout the last two years. No, that's great to have such a strong support system and a strong network of guidance, you know, working behind you. Um, so, talking about your preparation, right? How long have you been associated with Narayana? I've been with Narayana for the past two years. Okay, you've been for the past two years and how has Narayana Educational Institutions helped you in your success and preparation? I think the biggest uh, plus point about Narayana was the regular tests that they held. This really helped me gauge my level uh, of understanding of different topics and they were very efficient with uh, sending out results so that I could quickly rectify my mistakes. The scheduling was all very well uh, executed and yeah, there are many other things which I I haven't been able to mention. No worries. So why NEET? Were you like always passionate about it? Well, my father is a doctor so that played a role in my decision to pursue medicine and I've always felt that I think I'll be able to do something useful to the society through this profession. Looks like your family is going to have a family of doctors now <laughs> with one more edition. So that's great to know. So you mentioned how Narayana has helped you with you know various strategies and techniques. Can you elaborate a bit more on tests, micro schedules, and you know error analysis? Narayana has a very rigorous testing schedule, and this starts right from the beginning of the two-year course uh, from eleventh. We would have weekly tests as well as cumulative tests, and both were useful in different ways. And um, we had to do error notes after each test to understand our mistakes and to learn from them. And yes, the micro scheduling was done in a way to complete the syllabus well on time so that we have enough time for revision. Uh, I'm glad that you know you were able to identify your strengths and weaknesses and then rectify that and hopefully we've seen the result because your result is no less than a dream come true, you know. Uh, so now coming to neat preparation, we know how frustrating and exhausting, you know, this long preparation can be and how stressful it can get for candidates. So how do you manage your stress when you were preparing for NEET? Were there any hobbies that you indulged in? During my 11th grade, I would play music a little and during 12th grade, since I was spending more time in school, I would just listen rather than play. And uh, yeah, we used to play lots of sports in school to take our minds off uh, studies once in a while. And yeah, I would annoy my little sister once in a while. So what are some of your personalized techniques, you know, that you have used to actually ace this exam? Alright, I think towards the latter part of my revision, I tried to find ways to eliminate careless mistakes because many of my mistakes towards the end were ones that, questions that I knew, but somehow something would go wrong. 
So finding ways to eliminate that, I think, really helped. Right. So we know that you know uh, NEET has uh, four different subjects, and uh, how did you balance your time? You know, dividing uh, each of the subject, and how much time have you all- allocated to each of these subjects? Um, in the beginning, the focus was mainly on physics, because in my opinion, physics requires a very clear understanding of concepts and how to apply them. And slowly, I would work on chemistry as well, and. Uh, Biology uh, is mostly memorization, so that came towards the end. So basically, you're saying the most challenging subject for you was physics. It was challenging, but I think I enjoyed it. Yeah, we can clearly see that with your result. Like nothing looked like a challenge for you after all. Okay, so coming to the final question, Sam, uh, if you would have to share some tips, tricks, and strategies with the upcoming NEET aspirants, what would that be? One would certainly be to try to find ways to eliminate careless mistakes. Because this is where uh, people generally lose marks. Me and my friends both used to complain a lot about losing marks to careless mistakes. And definitely, uh, the second one would be to manage time wisely. Uh, it's no use if you know all the answers, but you are not able to complete the paper on time. Managing managing time effectively is important so that you put into the paper whatever you know. I'm sure our aspirants uh, will get a better idea with this. Let's just uh, keep in mind that sticking to the basics is very important. You know, we all focus on covering our syllabus and, you know, studying a lot. But the two points that Sam has shared with us are actually crucial points because if you are not able to manage your time, if you end up making careless mistakes, then how much ever you've studied just goes for a toss. So let's just stick to the basics, students, and hopefully your dreams will also become true just like Sam's. And after all, Narayana is there to guide you because at Narayana, your dreams are our dreams. Thank you very much.